welcome back to the Total Impact Episode 6 with the total package of a new staff, this Impact staff. They are, without a doubt, the total package that I've most ever worked with. And we are here two days before spring break begins, ready to wrap up our last show before we take a week off. James, let's jump right in the hot news. The adjuncts had a press conference and announced they are contemplating a work stoppage with a strike vote that's going to occur on April 11th. You've been talking to both sides. What have you been hearing? Um, and what do you kind of foresee your story focusing on when, when you come up with the next one? Um, so definitely the college is very concerned about it because they were negotiating for quite a while with no, and there was never, there was always talk like they could strike, but they never actually made a move on it. Now they're actually making a move on it and they are set up to vote. And once the vote takes place and if they do hit the 51% or the two thirds, whatever their desired goal is like they could strike the next day. So that's definitely a concern to the college. There is two days they're meeting before the strike vote, which I do expect the co they're going to, you'll see major concessions, I think, on both sides. But overall, it's there's pretty, they don't like each other either side. Like they make it, well, maybe not so much the college or the union, but the union definitely resents the college for a lot of things. And they're looking for more friends to join them in their fight. So it's definitely foreseeing like I have a story plan talking to students just to get their reaction on a potential strike but then also how these next two meetings ago will really determine how the semester ends for the college for administration and students do you think based on covering this story over the past two years do you think the students know the difference between a full-time faculty member and an adjunct I do just because of the it's adjuncts make a point to bring it up in the classes they teach. I've never met someone who's out of class with an adjunct that hasn't heard it. They may not understand how the scope of like what's been going on, but they at least understand that there's some issue between a part of the Mercy teaching faculty and Mercy College. Great. Thanks. Malik, talk to us. What's going on with you? Okay, so tomorrow I'm setting up an interview with the director of operations for the food in the cafeteria. So that's exciting. And I've already interviewed some of the students about how they feel about the cafeteria food. And Malik, what were those student reactions to that cafeteria food? So well, they didn't really have any strong opinions about it. The only little complaint I saw among them all was that the food was sometimes dry. It was unseasoned. Besides that, nothing bad. Okay. Well, historically, I think in dealing with mass cafeteria food, if there is not strong opinion, then then that's usually a good thing compared. Um, this is a I new. I know a few years ago people didn't like the food, and they changed it. I heard. That's correct. There, there's a new vendor now, and there was a real push to give vegetarian options, which I think never really existed. So I think um, the college definitely listened to that over the past couple of years and they actually went with a new vendor this year um i guess there's always room for improvement we'll see yeah. nicole what are you all dressed up for on campus right now um there's gonna be um bake sale and medical supply collections and donations for ukraine um it's gonna be hosted by the mercy health department and they're gonna be at main hall at 1 30 so i'm gonna be going there to cover that very cool. Excellent. Diana, what's up with you? Um, so I had some interviews with the health department of Mercy College and also with some students. And I talked to them about how they feel about the mask mandate being lifted. And surprisingly, I got a lot of answers about how they still were uncomfortable with like taking their mask off in class and how when it drops, they're still going to wear their mask around campus. And I was unsure if maybe they were just telling me that because they didn't want to tell anyone that like they're just going to lift their mask or if that's how they genuinely feel. Um, I also talked to some faculty members and one of the teachers, she told me, she didn't tell me any names, but there's a lot of faculty that are still on the fence and don't support the decision of the mask mandate being lifted. So I I'm wondering if maybe like on Monday when we come back from spring break, a bunch of masks will be off and then I'll talk to some people about how they feel and why they have their mask off. Great. Kate, how you doing? I'm doing good. Um, yeah, doing good. <laughs> Talk to us about something you're working on. 
Uh, so uh, after spring break, Mercy is going to be holding a, a panel for Encanto. They're going to be doing like an in-depth analysis and like how it's affected the Latin American community. Um, I recently just watched it for the first time. It was actually like a really good movie, like the, the imagery and everything, which is honestly beautiful. So I'm very excited for this panel and I will definitely be there. Is this the movie where they keep singing about Bruno? Yes. <laughs> You can't, no you can't go a day without hearing it <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> yep. Uh, Brett, what's up with you? Well, um, I know last week I talked about how I was working on a story with uh, Mark Campo, uh, the physics, or not physics, a physical therapy professor who uh, wrote a story about uh, exo exoskeleton research for spinal cord injuries. And unfortunately, unfortunately, um, he responded to me and said that he didn't have a large role in the article, so he doesn't feel comfortable with uh, having a story written about him. But he also said that he was open to an interview on other articles that he's written where he did have a main role. So I'm looking forward to going through those articles and and seeing anything interesting that I can talk to him about. You know, sometimes public relations and press releases make announcements that sometimes aren't necessarily um, completely accurate over the, the scope of the picture. So at least he's honest in his role in the, in the scenario, which is pretty cool. So moving on from that, what do we want to talk about? Who's got something to talk about? Spring break is upon us. Is anyone uh, going to be, you know, back when I was younger, I used to watch MTV, the spring break shows. Um, I don't even think MTV has show any. I don't even know if there's MTV thing anymore. So spring break, D, are we getting wild? No. <laughs> I, have, I, have to, <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of work to catch up on, unfortunately. Um, I've kind of been behind this semester, so I'm just going to work on that. Relax. You're not going to, you know, Vegas or anything? I or? really wanted to go somewhere, but no, no, I really can't. This, okay. this time. How about you, Kate? You look like uh, you're ready to hit the beach. You going anywhere for spring break? Yes, I will be laid up on a beach for the first time in so long. I can't wait. I'm checked out. I've been checked out since Good. I got my ticket. Where are my you ticket. going? I'm going to the Caribbean with my roommate. So, very cool yeah very cool when do you leave saturday we're gonna be there for a week so i'm like i said i've been checked out i can't think about school all i just want is the sun hat and to be on the beach and i'm gonna be i'll be fine have you ever been there before no it was my first time she has so she has like a list of things that she wants us to do so where are I'm you gonna, going where are you going exactly uh saint martin oh nice i've always wanted to go there so what's the first drink you're going to have? I'm going to start with my usual, a vodka cranberry. I'm going to start with the <laughs> usual and then like work my way <laughs> into some other things. Okay. Right. I'm going to have a good time. Okay. I'm young. Let me, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to live. Be smart. Stay together. Dance your butt off. Have fun. Malik, what are we doing a party this week in spring break? I am working. That's pretty much it. That doesn't sound like a break to me. Well, I don't really go on spring break vacation, so. What are you doing? You must have something fun. I wish I was going to Cancun, but I'm not. Um, where did I go? No, I've never been to Cancun on spring break. I went in the summers. Where, do, where did I go? I went to uh, oh, South Beach. I went on spring break and uh, Daytona. But um, next week, I'm doing nothing. I'm, uh, I'm, I have to get some, I have to catch up on some work too, mark some papers. I got to write some, uh, I want to write some of my own things that I'm trying to write about. And then I, I'm going to have an ever fun, I got to clean the basement. So, I mean, that's going to be wild times over here, but I, I will do it with a drink. So that's, uh, you know. Sounds exciting. Nicole, spring break plans? 
I was going to say the same thing you said. I wish I could go to Cancun or like, you know, DR, Punta Cana, but maybe I ha I think June I'm going to be going. So maybe my spring break is going to be later on, but Good for you. Um, for you. Just working and reporting, I guess. There you go. Making it happen. <laughs> All right. So speaking of the tournament, um, I got to go watch my Wolverines lose. Um, I love the tournament. I'm not a cre I do not like the NBA. I have no real interest in the NBA, but I love college basketball and I absolutely love the basketball tournament. So um, that's where I'm headed. Anybody else going to be watching the tournament? Hey, Pete, thoughts and prayers for you in Michigan right now. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. They, they're like the worst relationship I've ever been in. I keep getting sucked back in just for letdown, you know, but you I had Ohio State though this year. So I all did have it. State. Works out. You just can't hit from three. That's your only problem right now. Well, it was in reality when I played basketball myself. I couldn't hit from three either. So, all right, everybody, have a safe spring break. Stay out of trouble. If you're going away, be smart, but be crazy. Make memories. If you're working, try and have some fun. So, see you in a week, everybody. Happy spring break. Go Wolverines. <laughs>